Next one is from Brad. Brad is saying sheet metal. More questions. So I must have answered. Oh yeah, yeah. I think he had watched one of my sheet metal videos. So again, um, if you go to this list of all the different live streams, if you just in last live, you will find the last live with Fusion playlist. There's 198 videos in here. And um, if you go in here and you, if you're on a window machine, you do control F, you can literally search in here. And if you search sheet metal, you'll see that I did nine different sheet metal videos. So you can definitely go in and start looking, looking at those. So that's one res res um, resource you have. But Brad has more questions. So we're going to answer them here today. Uh, we go for about an hour. So I'm just trying to clean up my email a little bit. Hope this is useful for you. You guys were emailing me. I hope you don't mind that I'm sharing it here on a Sunday. And then I'll chop them up, the best ones, into videos that goes um, goes out on YouTube. This is a fairly long email. And, and Brad, or to anybody who sends me longer emails, if you can just sketch down an image and take a picture of it with your phone or something, it would be helpful. Because sometimes I struggle. Like, but um, Brad, <laughs> that's just, you know, be honest. Brad is trying to make a cylinder type or an oct oct octagonal octagonal shape. I'm not good with my shapes, but I can Google uh, that is perforated with free H holes in a standard pattern through all different. So think about like you have like a, a, a some kind of octagon, with all different kinds of holes in it. The problem he has is that when he puts the holes in, how to get it to be in there when he flattens it up. And that is a pretty common, pretty common trouble. So we're going to go ahead and do some sheet metal now. So if you're into that, well, there you go. Um, so I'm going to switch over to the sheet metal area over here. And if you're going to do it, some kind of like an octagon or something like that, I will create a sketch. And again, if sheet metal is new to you, don't worry. There is all kinds of live streams. I'm not going to fully define these, but I will create a side like this, and then I will go in and do a flange, right? Give it some thickness, and again, there's live streams on all these, and then you can go in and do another flange, and uh, if we drag this up in some kind of a shape here, make sure we're somewhat close, 70 up here, and we could start kind of like making, uh, we could start making that, that oxygen in there, right? You know what I mean? Repeat flange, select here, Go up about 70, whatever, whatever that, that shape you, you, you want to, to do. 70, drag that. You get it, right? So we'll just keep on going around, around like that. Now, here's the interesting thing about this, and this is where some people kind of go, uh, you know. So you create that shape, and then you go up and say, all right, I want to create a flat pattern from this shape. So you go and click the flat pattern, so like the, a, a flat face, and you hit OK, and it flattens it, and you're like, yes. And then you put in all your, your holes, but then when you go and say, now unflatten, then it's all gone. It doesn't show up. And the reason for that, just um, if you care to know, Brad, <laughs> is that um, when you create the flat pattern, it's almost like it's creating its own configuration, its own version of it, kind of like in the background. It's how it kind of works. So when you have drawn up your, your first shape and you flatten it in the flat pattern stage, and then you draw your holes in that flat pattern stage, that's kind of like the next level, the next, yeah, next sta stage. So when you unflatten it, it goes back to first stage, and that's why you don't see it. The trick is, there's always a trick, to instead of using flat pattern, if you go in here to modify, there's an unfold command. How would you have known? Unfold, select the stationary face. I'm going to select the same one as I did before in um, for the flat pattern. Um, and then you can, it will actually look for all the bends. And you can just say unfold all bends if you don't feel like selecting all of them. And now you will see that it becomes flat. And it's in a, a unfold, it's a full unfolded state. Um, and when you do that, you would actually see that the, the, the flat pattern gets a little warning because the flat pattern now knows that it's got to update what happens. But the point is, Brad, that if I now go in and do what you were looking to do, and instead of doing holes, I'm just going to be creative and do polygons. If 
press Q to press pull through here. So then we got one of those. Let's go in and do, if there's something you can't find in here, you can move out of the sheet metal and go back to solid and select the pattern. <laughs> I love fusion. Uh, let's select this one and select direction. I'm gonna select this edge here, drag that out. Let's do, let's make sure we get enough that we are cutting over the bands. See how it's not really great here. Let's go out and let's just do two of these. So I just, uh, I patterned it out and make sure that you see that they're in the band here. So when I hit okay with that, they are, are, are not right. But when I go back to the sheet metal up here at the top and I hit refold, now you will see that they stay. Now you see how the sheet metal or the flat pattern has a, um, a, a warning on it. It just needs to recalculate. Now it's in there and it will stay, it will stay in there. So you can go back and you can flat pattern or you can plan on whatever you want. So that's the answer, Brad. I hope that that was useful. Was it useful? Thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you don't. And leave the comments, I love the comments. I try to answer as many as I can. Um, this is just me on a Sunday on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, all the moms. Uh, trying to get through some of my some of my emails and i'm gonna go for like an hour or so except i'm gonna go a little bit longer because the first 20 minutes i goofed up and i didn't have any sound every time i switched off